Alright, so today I'm back with yet another chapter review, and today we will go over chapter 275, which is going to be something really special, as we will see Rin go absolutely wild on the pitch, as he battles it out with not only Shidu but also Isagi and Sei. Will he be able to come out victorious, or will he lose in the end? That's something that you will have to watch to find out, but I can guarantee that it will be absolutely insane, so I can definitely guarantee that it's worth sticking around. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking, and let's get right into the chapter. However, before that, please double check that you are subscribed to the channel, as there's 83% of people who watch my video who aren't subscribed yet. So if you could fix that by going down and subscribing to the channel, that would be awesome. And while you're already down there, you can always leave a like and a comment. And with that out of the way, let's finally get into it. So for chapter 275, also called Crash Shoot, we usually start off by reading the text at the top. But for this chapter, I can't find it. So let's just get straight into it instead. Chapter 275 starts off with Hiori, who looks back in fear as he says that PXG has finally gone ahead and done it. Thanks to Charles' incredible Rabona cross, it's now a death race for the goal. We also see Charles for a quick second, as he just looks ecstatic over what he's just managed to do. Hiori looks over to Zantetsu and Kunigami, as he says that Zantetsu decided to block Kunigami's path, and also got uncomfortably close to Kunigami's body. This in turn made Kunigami's reaction a bit delayed, and because of that, for a quick moment, the demon Shidu Ryusei was free on the battlefield and is once again seeking pleasure. Where we can clearly see here as he's trying to stop Rin from scoring and instead score his own goal, both Rin and Shidu stare into each other as they also have their tongues out. Rin thinks that here he comes, the blonde pest. Rin starts to analyze it some more and concludes that if he waited for the ball to reach his targeted shooting point, Shidu would interfere and he wouldn't be able to shoot. Because of that, Rin knows that he needs to change his shooting point, and he has to do it quickly. He looks at the nasty cross Charles made, which was constructed to make havoc between them, and he realizes that to get to the ball even a moment faster, he needs to do a root change, which is exactly what he does in the most vital of moments. He turns his body the other way, and starts to really sprint for it. Shidu looks back in shock, and can't believe what Rin is doing. He asks if Rin has finally decided to run away. But Rin thinks to himself that he would never run away from Shidu, and thinks that it's a challenge to a more difficult kick. Looking at the ball and saying that it's from a high point that even Shidu can't reach. He is able to start to visualize his goal as he gets an image of a bounce shot, which will lead to the ball smashing it in the left net. Rin has just gotten under the ball and says that this is it. He will now live his life and update his personal best by going further beyond what he thought was possible, as he will try to reach the ball from a new high, making a new unprecedented kicked ball. But just then, something comes his way. And no, it's not Isagi or Shidu, but instead his own brother as a silhouette of Sei pops up in front of Rin. He's got Rin's darkness and rage aura around him as he comes before Rin and tells him that this is too lukewarm. Rin is confused by this and can't believe that it's happening again as he just looks at Sei, who once again, but this time with a determined face, looks straight at Rin and says that it's still too lukewarm. Rin is in shock right now as he doesn't understand how once again he's too lukewarm. He was certain that with this shot, he would be able to surpass this guy's illusion. Sei, who's still in front of Rin, says that this is his limit, and that Rin can't become the world's best. Rin is lost. He doesn't know what to do because if he doesn't overcome this image, he can't evolve any further. Sei doesn't budge, as he's still trying to get Rin to turn away, and he tells Rin that he's still just a thrashy little brother living in his shadow. As the ball is still flying in the air, and with Sei in front of him, Rin realizes that he can't do anything, because Sei's murderous intent towards Rin is enough to stop Rin from coming up with any ideas to overcome it. Rin's eyes seem to have lost the glow and spark they had before, as they look lost now. The silhouette is just growing larger and more fearsome as he tells Rin to just get lost, and tells Rin that he does not need him in his life anymore. Rin is so close to finally scoring a super goal, but there's nothing he can do against his older brother. He asks for someone to please come forward and give Rin a new impulse. Just then, a hand cuts through Sei's head, and he later sweeps away the whole silhouette. It's none other than Blue Lock's hero and Rin's destined rival, Isagi Yoichi, who comes forward to try and stop Rin in his ways. We get a close-up of Isagi's face, and his eyes are bigger and shinier than ever before as he looks right at Rin and says that he will even stake his life on this. For a quick second, Rin is confused and lost as he can just stare at Isagi, but then his eyes start to slowly light up again as he sees his rival, and with that, he's gotten back his determination to score. He looks at the ball, and then wonders if the shooting course is blocked, but after analyzing it, he sees that there's still a chance. 
but he has to act quickly as Isagi is advancing fast toward him. Isagi is coming with a killing intent as he takes his hand out and screams that he won't let Rin shoot, also calling him a freak. But you know, that's just the standard here. After that, Rin's eyes start to transform from his white normal eyes back to his dark and empty eyes. As his urge to attack is weeping up, he thinks back to the childhood program he watched where the monster put his life on the line and decides to do the same thing as he rushes towards the ball again. The anticipation is just getting bigger and bigger as both of them are trying their all to be the ones to win this showdown. Isagi grinds his teeth while Rin puts his tongue out. He says that Isagi is the one he wants to die with, calling it an imagination of unprecedented destruction as he jumps up in the air. Rin is now in the air and Isagi is close by on the ground. However, Rin is preparing his foot to shoot the ball the second it arrives. Rin has his rage instincts all around him while Isagi's pieces are flying rapidly around him. And just in this moment, Rin says that his desires and this impulse, he wants to let it all out right now, saying that it's because he is against Isagi after all, his sworn rival, as he says that he finally comes in contact with the ball and is able to fire it off. However, Isagi also got in contact with Rin as he tried to jump on him, which may ruin Rin's shot. Anyway, the shot is coming closer and closer to the goal, and we see that Hiyori can't believe his eyes as Rin is able to fire it off while he and Isagi are colliding. Shidu behind Rin is also amazed that he managed to get a crazy crash shoot. We also see Raichi, who tried to get up and head away from the ball, but he wasn't able to, unfortunately. This makes it so that the only thing standing in Rin's way is Gagamaru. However, he is facing some trouble as he thought that Rin would shoot in the open left corner, but he instead shot a high spec shot to the right corner beyond the crowd, and because of that, Gagamaru was unable to do anything, as Rin's shot finally goes into the goal and gives him his first goal in this match. After that, both Rin and Isagi fall down to the ground. Luckily, Isagi fell on top of Rin, so he came out with minimal damages, but that can't be said for Rin as we see blood on the pitch. Isagi looks up towards Rin, who has his hand close to his face, and suddenly Isagi's face gets serious as he sees him. Rin, on the other hand, wonders what this feeling that he is getting is, saying that he's blown away as well as saying that it feels so good, as he says that we finally see his face and we are able to see that Rin has blood coming out from his nose. It also looks like it's coming out some blood from his mouth as well. But that doesn't concern Rin the slightest, as he's in shock by this new and immense feeling he's gotten. And yeah, this was one of the craziest shots in the entire series, if I do say so myself. The fact that Rin was able to get off such a crazy and well-aimed shot while firstly getting stopped by Sei, and then Isagi, who came and jumped on top of him. Not to mention that the beast Itoshi Rin was mid-air when he shot the ball as well. This series keeps on shocking for every chapter we get, as the goals just get more and more insane. And we can't forget that we still have one goal left in this game, which I can't even begin to think how spectacular and insane that goal will be. Anyway, let's quickly talk about this chapter. Now there's not that much I can talk about other than this spectacular goal, but I also really liked it when Sei and Rin faced each other. Even though it really wasn't Sei, it still got me excited as a Sei lover. I'm a huge fan of how the author uses the silhouette version of characters and makes his players have their own kind of internal battle with their silhouette. It just adds a bit more depth to the series in. Also, I was really glad that it was Isagi who emerged through Sei's silhouette, as he's the only one who was able to reignite Rin's flame again, and their battle in the end was insane. When Isagi legit jumped onto Rin as he shot the ball, it was insane. It had me jumping up and down in my seat. And before we leave, let's just take a moment and admire this insane goal. Like. I'm not sure who will score the last goal of this match, however they for sure has a lot to compete with, because this is definitely up there as the top 5 goals of the series in my opinion. But please tell me down below what you thought of this insane goal. Anyway, yeah these are just my thoughts on it. Please leave your thoughts and theories down in the comments, as I love reading them. If you like blue lock and videos like this, then I would highly suggest you subscribe to this channel, and while you are at it, leave a comment and a like, as it helps out with the algorithm a ton. If you are curious to see another video of mine, please watch the video that will be popping up on the screen now. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.